Thanks, Justin. 2020, a tough year for movie theaters across the nation, and yet many films still found success by turning to streaming services. Those behind the scenes still have the same goal, though, to be recognized for their creation. This morning, 13 Action News reporter Alicia Patillo introduces you to a Las Vegas native whose quest to create a Christmas classic fell short of an Oscar nomination. Well, Jingle Jangle was a hit for Netflix and so many people enjoyed that movie, but it fell short for this year's Oscar nominations. I sat down and spoke with the producer of this film and guess what? She is a Las Vegas native. Check it out. Once upon a time lived the greatest inventor that ever there was. It was the film that stole the hearts of many during Christmas 2020. Jangle, for the last 30 years, you've been promising something sensational. Despite a rough year for cinema, Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey found success on Netflix. The film was years in the making, written and directed by David E. Talbert and produced by his wife, Lynn Sisson Talbert. The holiday whimsical full of black joy captured audiences everywhere. The fantasy film aimed to be a Christmas classic, and it was. To me, it's very important to share original stories and to continue to put out those original original pieces that are different and representative of us. So with all of that, that was really the inspiration. Coming from theater, we wanted to infuse in a film everything we've ever done, you know, with comedy, with music, with dance, with, you know, amazing costume designs and, and hair and makeup and, and all of that and normalizing the things that are often talked about. Lynn, a prolific producer and author, credits her success to humble beginnings and deep roots right here in the valley. I love growing up in Vegas. Um, it is still, you know, my favorite place. My family's still there. Um, we have a lot of rich history there. My grandmother actually worked at the famous Moulin Rouge and um, became a realtor and sold a lot of the Black families out there their first home. Um, you know, right off of Lake Mead, D Street, Martin Luther King area, uh, which was amazing. Also, my father, Lonnie Sisson, was the first black optometrist licensed in the state of Nevada. So Vegas is a very, you know, important part of my upbringing. And it was important to see herself through her work. Representation in this industry matters, and Lynn is making sure of that. The world is multicultural. The world is of so many people. And it's time that our stories reflect what the world is. Despite much success, the Netflix original musical fell short of this year's Oscar nominations. But the message was heard. We still need more diversity. I do feel we still have a long way to go. Um, but the conversation is being had, but it needs to be had more. I mean, I know I'm biased. I think Jingle Jangle should have been nominated with everything that it meant. Lynn and her husband are making sure they change the narrative by creating a lane for all, a space where your story matters. It is very important that representation matters, and it was so important for us to get a seat at the table, and we're still working to get, you know, more seats because... Again, it's about our stories. It's about sharing what that is. And it's also about like, we need to break new talent. You know, we need to showcase new artists and new filmmakers coming up in the industry. Lynn and her husband just signed a first look deal with Netflix. That means they'll be writing, producing and directing many more films for Netflix. So big congratulations to them. You can find out more about them on our website at KT. Alicia Batillo, 13 Action News.